So I'm going to use a little bit of gesso. I can incorporate some stencils in here. Um, I just want to relax. I want to unwind. I want to paint with you. I encourage you to paint with me. It doesn't take a lot. Um, I am going to use acrylics this week. I've done watercolors the last couple of weeks. Today, I just decided in my brain that's what I was going to do. And um, I don't know. I just want to. I just want to say, let's paint. Let's paint. Put on your paintbrush. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to take gesso. This is just white gesso. Don't get caught up. It says chalky white gesso. Um, I'm painting this with the intent. I, I do offer, if you order an art journal for me and you would like the first page painted, it's a happy thing that I do. There is a little upcharge for it. But when I paint on Wednesday, the first come, first serve. And if Annette already called it out, um, Anne will let me know. Sorry, U.S. shipping because uh, it, it's just a thing. Okay. Uh, can't ship. All right, why am I gestoing this page? I am prepping and priming the page. Did we send an intent? Who's painting with me? Did you send an intention up? Oh, okay, I'm gonna, one must silence her phone so her cha-ching does not go off. Thank you for that order. <laughs> okay. There we go. I didn't even turn on, okay, Anne, if I'm supposed to be monitoring everything, I didn't even, I just, I'm just painting tonight. All right, so uh, I just primed that page with gesso. Don't worry, I will list every bit of supplies that I use. I am not going to worry about this. I'm going to just use the rest of the gesso on here. Stencil brushes are sold out. Is that correct? Um, I have to look. Some of them are. Um, I'm having a big brush sale until the end of May. Myra, if you need, uh, you can send an email to support at your artfuljourney.com. But yes, a lot of things um, are sold out. I think I'm going to give Annette a heart attack when I tell her there's going to be some brown. Oh, gal, is there going to be brown involved in this? I wanted it to have some brown in it. Not all of them are, but yes, there's some probably are. If I have to do an inventory after my retreat because they, oh, what do I do with brown? Annette, I wanted some brown in this. Is she going to get mad at me? <laughs> all right. I'm not used to using brown. So let's just do it my way. How about a little Quinn gold with a little burnt umber? What do you think? It's not my norm. I'm hoping she's like, what are you doing? Now I decided to buy it before there was anything on the, I'm looking for like a burnt umber. Hold on. I'm going to go raw umber or burnt. Oh, actually, hold on. Okay. I'm not going to scare her. There's like a cinnamon stick. Okay. I'll just do this. It's kind of, it's going to be, oh, I have no paint palette because I use them all. Yeah, I, um, Purposely, I'm selling down because I'm going to have some new. Um, I don't have some new things coming out. All right, I have to just do this. Okay, what I do? I never do this. So this is cinnamon stick. 
And then I'm going to do plain gold. Oh, y'all. Hello. Good evening. So I'm going to keep just the same. brush i didn't even rinse it off quite honestly there'd be some twin gold there'll be some um that was cinnamon stick okay i'm just gonna mix this i know it's prom i promise um annette i think right now and and i'm gonna do a little bit of Payne's gray in there if i can find it I have just unpacked from my retreat. And that I don't usually use anything this fancy. I do. Okay, I just okay. Whoops. This is gonna be the background. Keep in mind, I was just in the Southwest. If you don't think um, orange or teal or like the color, oh, gal, the earrings I'm wearing, the copper, uh, red. If you don't think that's not going to turn up in this situation, you are like, I was deeply affected by where I was visiting. I painted some landscapes. It was just, it was exactly what the soul needed. Um, I think New Mexico maybe has been one of the biggest influences. And I'm not from there. I, I, my affiliation is just friends and people I've interviewed and artists and whatnot. Um, but if you're traveling, I think you'll find that you're deeply influenced. Red, teal, turquoise, the cacti. I mean, I took pictures of oh, the landscape. I was asking every person I could ask a question about the succulents and how to, you know, hatch chili. Um, I've always done that in my life and I will continue to do that. So, oh, I love this. So now I am just wiping this off. Um, and, um, Kelly said, I'm so envious. I need some time away, especially in nature. Um, I'm a, um, divorced mom of three to four kids, if you count my stepdaughter, who I love dearly, got to see as well. Um, here's the thing, consider it, uh, not even travel, go, I used to go to Little Italy where I live. Um, go and take yourself on a creative date and notice the colors of the area. That's what New Mexico, it just appeals to me so much. Um, uh, Brenda says, I live in Albuquerque. The sunsets are green and the, ch and the green chilies are the best. It is, it's so interesting. It is so interesting. So there's your background, which is not normal for me. Okay. I wiped it back. I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah. And here's the thing. It's not necessarily traveling. Um, I used I did an eat, pray, love thing. Didn't even know I was doing it until I saw the movie when I got divorced with my kids. And I went to Little Italy um, in San Diego. I don't know how to tell you this other than it took me taking my art journal to see the bay, to see the area, to see and discover the colors of where I live. But now I am outstretching and next month I go, or this month I have to buy a plane ticket to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I love Oklahoma. I love Texas. I love, but 
every area of the United States have colors. Wisconsin, I remember cranberry, this cranberries. So it doesn't have to be far. It doesn't just find that time that you are not like accountable. All right, so I know that is a little bit like, whoa, what did she do? <laughs> and that's like, what did I just buy? Um, Kathy said hello from Southwest Arizona. Yes, these colors are all around us. Oh my God, I was the cacti. Oh, I was like taking pictures left, right, and center. All right, so I'm back to the gesso. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, y'all, stop. Um, I'm debating. And that is it here? 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 It's here. Okay, I discovered it. It wasn't in the corner. I thought it was. Okay. So now, now if you're anywhere in Texas, I'm going to Galveston um, in November. If you're anywhere in Texas right now, I'm like so curious. Oh, the weather. Oh, the weather. All right. Now, do you see a pencil? Ooh, what is that? It was. Why am I using gesso? I am priming the surface again. Like I literally going back over so I can't see the background. So, <laughs> Kelly, lit, uh, she said, sing the song, Galveston. So, I've been sitting, singing, living on Tulsa time. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's coming to life. It's coming to life. Okay. I hope um, I, I'm, I'm partially looking and partially not looking because I want to make sure. So that's how I drew my, I'm kind of in, I'm kind of fine. Oh, Annette just said, <laughs> look. Okay. All right. And don't worry, uh, everything I use will be listed color-wise, um, links I do as best I can. So the titanium white, okay, that's pretty obvious what that is. And then I'm doing cobalt teal hue. Oh, I should be using peacock teal, but it's close to that. All right, I'm just gonna, I'll let's do this cobalt teal. All right, and then, we're just going to have fun. Now, I'm going to... Oh, I will be there, Annette. I will be there. Okay, here I go. That is where I will be. Now, am I letting this dry? Are you nervous that I'm not letting this dry? I know.
Yay. Now, how many of you are a little afraid that the fact that you're painting this as you're going is a little bit scary that you don't know exactly what you're supposed to be doing? Like, oh, I'm making it bigger. I'm extending the petals out. Like, uh, peacock teal or cobalt uh Teal hue and titanium white. I mean, I know this is a little scary because, quite honestly, I know conventionally maybe I don't paint that way, you know. And then in the middle, I've done nothing. <laughs> So now I'm going to come in. Uh, this is a huge challenge, jumping in to paint without knowing what you're going to do. Uh, Lori, it is. But I do find, and I just tested this at my retreat, I find that when people don't know, it's like they have the picture in front of them, but this is how I create. So um, their expectations are a lot lower um, and they trust themselves to just go with the flow, if that makes sense. I, I, I know this is unconventional and this is a Wednesday night demo. Um, I have a membership group called Your Artful Journey. They know what they're going to paint because I provide pictures and diagrams and sometimes tracers and materials lists. On Wednesday night, this is free flow. This is just me um, painting and saying at the end of the day, it is a little. Now I'm going to introduce another darker cobalt and I'm going to go cobalt turquoise hue. Um, so this is how I paint. And sometimes that is what allows you to free yourself from the expectations of knowing what um, my painting is going to look like and what yours is supposed to look like. Does that make sense? I don't, I know. I've just always felt strongly about this. And yeah, I, every Wednesday I go live. I mean, it'd be nice if I knew what I was doing every week, but I'm lucky. I'm lucky if I can. Uh, okay. So now you might be a little worried. I am as well. I love it. You push me out of my comfort zone. It's a good thing. That's, that's all I want to know. Okay. That's what I'm doing. All right. Do. All right, so we got Payne's gray over here. And remember the stencil brushes that I talk about so much because those are just so fun. Hey. Now I just want to sing because it's so like I would love Normally I would do like a nice bright yellow, but this is Payne's gray because I have left over. Every Wednesday, I, I'm using the leftover paint, the the twin gold, the cinnamon stick. I'm using all of that. Okay. And remember, my tape is somewhere along here. And I'm just going to dry off my... Okay. And then I'm just going to... Look. I mean, we're going to find the center. There's a lot of you could all add a little gold in there. Okay, I got gold right here. 
a little bit of gold. I mean, gold is just gorge. Okay. I don't know. I just believe in firmly taking away the the rules that make us so nervous of what we're doing wrong. Let's just have fun. Okay. Um, now I'm going to dry this off. Oh my goodness, she a puffin, she a puffin. Oh my goodness, y'all with the comments tonight are flying. I'm on YouTube and I am on Facebook. So the the questions fly. You've really helped me not be so critical of myself. Oh my god. Uh, I just love this. Um, that's it. Right now the sogoros, it's the cacti are blooming and the flowers look like bouquets. Okay, so here's the thing. When I was in New Mexico and Phoenix, because I also we went through Tucson, of course. Um, uh, I was obsessed with the blooms. And of course, I now want to convert my entire yard to a succulent, succulent situation, but I live on an acre and a half. It's not going to happen, but I just wanted you to know I was obsessed. All right, I'm going to grab some carbon black. I was obsessed. I have traveled um, the United States fairly decently. Oh my God, I have untied both my shoes on the trip. All right, I'm looking for carbon black in all of my paints. Okay, okay. Um, oh, Dana said I have some of your stamps and I love them. I'm sorry, I'm just taking off my shoes just so I don't trip and fall on my face behind the scenes. It's a very embarrassing look that I've had before. All right. <laughs> now, how relaxed am I going to be? Uh, if you have some paint pens or Sharpie, whatever, I mean, I'm working, I am going to be relaxed. Thank you so much. By the way, most of the stencils that I just got in, I'm going to also be ordering from Jelly Art. Um are all from Dare to Be RT, which make my stamps. So it's kind of like a win-win. Now, where do the petals begin and where do they end? Well, you decide. You decide. Don't worry about, like, it has to be exact. And do I still have white? Yes, I do. So now I'm going to take the white with the black. I have to incorporate some sort of stencil in the background just because I'm so excited now. I'm just gonna, now if you get too dark, guess what happens? Go mix the teal back in like, oh, I didn't want that there. Mix the teal back in, like layer this in, have fun. 
your painting is not going to turn out like my painting. You know why? We're in two different spaces in our world. Oh, and what if you did not like exactly go around? Yeah. I have not rinsed off this brush once. <laughs> Keep it loose. Keep it loose. Okay. Now I'm going to dig in with my stencil brush a little bit. Uh oh, I broke. Oh, I broke that one. Okay, let's just keep it together. It's got a little paint spray. I'm just going to use the rest of my paint in here, and I'm going to go around, just around here. Okay. Just around. I got a, my hair. Sorry, Annette, my hair is going in your painting. Now, build up more color in the middle. You can keep going. Nobody says you have to stop. Well, at some point I have to stop because I'm. Sandra um, Greer, I did get the error that I made in your order. I will fix said error. Okay. I just keep building. I just. It, it is to my liking. Is it to your liking? I hope. Is it to my liking and something I'm proud to sign off on and enjoy? Now I'm going to flick. I'm going to flick. I hope it's to Annette's liking because she's purchasing said journal. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, I want to make sure I'm proud of something that I put and I stand behind and I would like her to be happy. So now I'm not going to get too wild with this. I want to, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to scare that. <laughs> And I got a little real estate over here. Okay. I'm going to take, now I got to be careful because these are the new stamp pads and um, I was giving, given three of these. So that means there's actually ink in the stamp pad. Because <laughs> you know me, I am, I, I'm looking for my, Okay, I washed it off. Oh, I literally washed it off. Okay, I'm just going to come in here. Oh, I am going to. I am. I am not. Hold on. What am I going to add? Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to add a swirl, but I'm not. This is what I would add. I'm just going to come in here, and then I'm going to go up and down because I feel like I could almost... Just a little bit. Make this obviously look like wood. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. But I'm just going to come around and add a little vignette. Okay, because my, my tape is, I have to remove this tape. Okay. I got to remember, this stamp pad has real ink in it. And I normally... So I'll, I'll go down a little bit, come around the edge. Remember, I got to remove this tape. Okay. And I think I literally was going to add 
a stencil, but I'm not going to. That's because I love the feel of this going down. Okay, that's it. And then I'm going to come in and anything that over here that needs to be darkened up, I'm going to darken up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because you don't need wood. You can paint wood. Yes, you can. All right. I love that. I'm happy. I'm done. I'm going to gently, gently. What's up? Look at the deco edge of this. Oh, can I cover this? Okay. I'm heating the tape up. You know, oh, uh oh. Okay. 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 Don't move. Gently. Okay. okay. Go back, go back, go back. I did a little boo-boo. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Yeah, I separated. That's okay. That's okay. It's going to go right back on. You know why? Because I'm going to take a little bit of matte medium right over the top. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then I have... I'm sorry, I'm such a perfectionist. And I did. I separated the paper a little bit. I love it. It's okay. It'll go right back. And then. Huh. Oh, where's my um pens? Hold on. And I will seal right over the top, by the way. This whole thing will be sealed. And Annette bought this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I am gonna seal right over the top. Now, for those of you who like, oh, doubt me. No, doubt me. Matt medium. Okay. Mm. What I like to do is always say, for those of you who don't, just lean into the mistake a little bit. Boo boo. Sorry, sorry, Annette. Just lean in. Okay, a little bit there. Uh, okay. Handmade paper. There we go. Perfecto. And then I will seal right over the top before this gets shipped to Annette, lovely Annette. Thank you. Um, a little, oh yeah, no, I love a little matte medium. But it's, the whole thing is gonna be sealed. I just like to wait a couple of days. All right.